everyone. So today is a little bit different kind of farming. We are buying some lime to spread on a couple of fields that we're gonna plant into alfalfa next year. We're getting our lime from the ball field in town. So the plan is, yeah, our field's always been a skin in field, it's just egg lime, but they're putting down some different kind of dirt. I'm not sure what it is. We're not going grass. Nobody ever talk about it, but it's a lot of maintenance. And I, th I think that's still the plan. We're not going grass, but it's like a darker kind of dirt. I, I honestly have no idea. I was told just to head up here, fill the trailer full of lime haul it out to our place so that's what i'm doing it's still kind of farming i guess we need the fields that are going to be hay we got to put lime on them anyways so save a little money on hauling it ourselves it takes a little bit more time but that's what we're doing Yep. So just hauling it out here, put it on a pile in the corner. Then sometime probably this fall we'll spread it over this whole field here. I think this field is just it's only like 10 acres. It's a really goofy shaped field. There's, yeah, there's a pond in the middle of it. There's a big deer stand. It's just long and narrow and it's not great for trying to plant corn in it. So we're gonna throw her in the hay next year. It's kind of a, it's basically just a big glorified food plot, actually. The deer just destroy it when there is corn, so we're hoping to have hay out there. You know, that keeps growing. Hopefully we can make something off it, hopefully. But, like everything else though, it does need rain. It's very, very sandy ground. If it don't rain, it ain't gonna grow anyways. But at least it gives a little better chance from the deer. So we'll head up there and go grab another load. Day today we uh, started off by hauling some more lime but now there's some rain in the forecast here this weekend so we wanted to get our rye planted right by the house so dad dug it and then he picked some rocks in there which we're hauling out right now I got one load off while he was picking it I hooked up to the roller rolled it just to kind of smooth it out any little rocks there are push them down just to make a nice smooth planting surface and now dad is planting it so this rye we planted here in the fall ideally you get some rain so it germinates so it actually comes up and as long as it gets above ground before it freezes we've had pretty good luck with it and all kind of like last year we had oh hang on we got car coming last year we had a good stand it was up last fall in the spring it came up good so then we just didn't get no rain and it didn't end up being much. But when we do get good rains and a good stand, it makes for a lot of feed. And then we put corn in after we harvest it. The corn usually turns out pretty decent also, so it's been a good practice for us. And it's good for the soil too, right by the house there. It's kind of on top of a hill. Just keeps the dust down and keeps some the topsoil there. So hopefully that works out again here. So we're gonna go dump these rocks out on a rock pile and this is actually Dennis's trailer we were hauling the lime with. We had it hooked up so we figured we'd just throw the rocks in here then I'll bring that trailer back before it gets dark. What do you guys think? What 
you guys do tonight? Play, I play football with my new football. You played football? Yeah, with my new football. You went? Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Another bump. Oh! Oh, school today. Really good. Really good. We do a recess. Kickball. Kickball, did you win? Did you get any, did you get on base at all? Yeah, I got, I really got to home. You got home? Yeah. Holy cow. Not 10 times. Really? Yeah. Did you get anyone out? Did you get any, hit anyone with the ball? Really? I really hit someone that hit bombers. Really? All right, so we use this Chandler spreader mostly to haul chicken manure with. We also do spread some lime with it. We just can't fill it very full, but it spreads it out nice. But we're hooking up to it. And I was checking it out because you got to check tires and grease and stuff. And there was a bearing that was a little tired. I just took it off now, but. That's basically what I saw. When you see these marbles, these are actual ball bearings, it's usually not good. That goes was right here. So we got a new bearing that came in today. Should I take this old one off so, this, so those balls sit on that groove in here and this whole shaft spins in there. And that's where you grease it to create friction, but this one did not last all that long. We replaced this bearing, must have been three or four years ago. But either didn't get greased or something's a little out of whack and it's rubbing a little, or it's running a little crooked. But nonetheless, it wasn't gonna run the way it was, so we gotta throw a new bearing on there. So we gotta take a torch, you cut this old collar off, that comes off, clean up your shaft, and put the new one back on. What'd you do? Huh? Did you do that? Someone isn't feeling great today, so they're home playing hooky. All right, so we got, we torched that off. So it seems like you know, crank that torch up, you could really just burn right through it. But you wanna do it pretty gently, cause you don't wanna, you wanna torch off that collar, but you don't wanna burn the shaft or gouge into the shaft. So it takes a little while, but it actually turned out pretty good. You can actually hardly, there's one little mark right there, but that's nothing else. Emery cloth will take that off pretty nice. That's what, I can't touch it, yep, but that's what the shaft, or that collar is. You just, a lot of times you gotta cut them twice. A lot of times they're on their type. Like I said, this one was replaced once before, so it wasn't terrible. Just make, you make one cut through it just so it loosens it up and then actually we were able to pry it off. It went a lot better than it normally goes. I'd rather just have to cut it once than twice because you got twice as much chance to gouging that shaft. So I'm gonna dump some water on there just to cool it off a bit so I can touch it. I'm gonna take some emery cloth, emery cloth. It kinda, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it, it's easier to show you. It's like a cloth that's got metal in it. It's kinda like a file, basically. Here's that way I'm using. So what that looks like. Basically you work it around that shaft to smooth it up there's any little burrs, 
a lot of times the end that sticks out a bit's got rust on it. So to get that new bearing on there, you gotta get that really smooth and out, put a little grease on it. Hopefully it slides on there nice for us. Alright, so we got that kind of shined up. This little gouge here was from the last time we replaced it. This time I cut it, it was right here. Actually, that's where that set screw was, but. Yeah. So we're gonna see if that bearing, I don't feel nothing that's sticking out at all. Let's see if that bearing will go on there. It's always a good idea to put a little grease on here just to help it slide a little bit better. All right, hopefully that's the right size. Well, no truth, I gotta set you guys down. All right, so it's, it's going on the shaft fine, but there's a lip here that kind of holds that this bearing housing in. And I gotta get this to get in there first before it can slide in, but it's kind of wedged in there. Gotta fi figure out a way to get this in. My audience is not helping. she be so I tighten this one on there just to hold it in place I was able to get this side to come down so put these bolts nuts back on set the set screws and hopefully we're good for a few years doesn't look that sick does she she was up last night with a 101.8 fever she puked twice got up at 5 for the day went back to bed probably 8 15 slept till like 11 50 now she's good to go all right so that'll be the end of this video um you got to see a little bit of the lime coming off the baseball field going on to our field um travis is fixing the manure spreader that we use to get the lime uh next up i think is probably gonna be combining um i thought we were maybe gonna start this afternoon but it we didn't so i'm guessing tomorrow or friday we'll probably get started on some combining so we will see you guys in the next video see you later Please like and subscribe to videos. I like you. I like you on my channel. Bye. Make sure to like and subscribe and share to our channel. Thanks for being awesome. Peace. Bye.